And now we're here with the beautiful Karen Anna Chung. Karen Anna Chung is presenting award to Harry Shum Jr. tonight. Are you excited? I am super uber ecstatically, <laughs> am I making up words now? I'm super uber 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 <laughs> duper excited because Harry Shum Jr. is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite breakout stars. And he's totally talented, sweet, sweet guy. Just ever since I met him, he's been amazing. I'm a big fan of his. He'll know this. I'm a big fan of his mom. Hi, Harry's mom. So I am super excited to be giving you this, this award tonight because he definitely deserves it. He's come out so far this year and been so active in the community, been helping with everyone. i more than honored to give him this award tonight. That's great. And so what is your involvement with East West Players? You just know a lot of people in the organization. Have you done theater before? East West? Um, I actually used to volunteer at East West Players at this dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be one of the people walking around. Before you became so famous. <laughs> no, I just always into the arts arts community and always been um, interested in, in checking out. So got got to, to be involved with it before I started acting and then started taking acting classes through East West, West Players. I'm actually trained through East West Players. Under, um, at that time I was learning under, studying under Glenn Chin. Yeah. Oh, fun! Yeah. Year and a half at East West. That's great. And so do you think like even from the time that you started coming out and volunteering at these events, what do you think about like Asians coming forward in media and getting like a lot more recognition in the media now? I think I think it's great. It's um, that's you know, it's something that I wish, you know, I want to say it's about time because there have been so many talented people in in the community that just isn't recognized enough. But at the same time, it's like, you know, we're we're in the process of learning and growing as a community. So, um, it's it's so exciting to see more people being recognized for what they do and um, being more talked about for what they've accomplished and stuff you know because some people like they work so hard and just straight up because of what they love and so to be able to honor this awesome yeah definitely I mean do you think it's definitely something like the same for you finding out that acting was something you loved even though it was like very difficult I think you know to like for Asians especially I think to get into the industry sometimes I think definitely when I started, it was a lot harder because there weren't a lot of roles available for Asian Americans. But right now, it's um, definitely there's a lot more doors open. Well, is that what you're asking? <laughs> I'm like, is that what she's asking? <laughs> no, I mean, I guess in terms of even like for you, was it difficult? Like, or like your parents telling you like this is something you know like I think I I don't think it's just Asian parents. I mean, I talked to some of my friends that are Asian in the business. Their their parents are like, can't you get a regular job? You know. All my life I thought it was just Asians, but it's actually everybody's parents. I think Asian parents just have a little bit higher expectation for us to be possibly doctors or lawyers or, you know, some kind of profession that gives guaranteed money and job and health insurance. <laughs> it's true. So health like, insurance like my mom's is hard like, to come by, yeah. My mom's like, so uh, are you going to get a full-time job yet? <laughs> like, after better luck tomorrow, like every year. Oh my god. So, I mean, that's just... But for them, it's it's different. You know, they're not they're not the same kind of artist I am. They don't want to do this as a career, and it's kind of impossible for someone to understand it unless they they love the art like you do. You know, and they, they don't really understand why I'm willing to like do stuff for nothing. No, but then they see how happy I am. You know? Yeah, and like I think ultimately your parents just want you to be happy. You know, doing something even if it's not something they automatically approve with, it's still something that they want to see their kids happy for sure. Yeah. Well, they just want to make sure, you know, it's like we're at Sundance and with Better Luck Tomorrow and MTV just bought the film and and um, I remember calling my mom, telling my mom about, or MTV just acquired the film at that time. I called my mom and the first thing she asked me is like, oh, I said, mom, there's this big music station and like this music company or a company that has a music station that, uh, um, that shows all the videos and stuff because she doesn't really know what MTV is, so I'm trying to describe it to her. And my mom's so cute. Oh, she asked me, she's like, that's nice. Are you are you wearing enough clothes? Are you eating? So like, you know, that tells me right there. It's like, it's just the way our parents are. They want to make sure you're okay. They want to make sure you're fed. They want to make sure you're taken care of. They want to make sure you're not starving. You're not broke. And they want to make sure you have a roof over your head. Exactly. Okay, so enough about the whole Asian community. What about you? Are there any other projects you're currently working on? Anything exciting that we should be looking out for? Exciting. Well, the DVD just came out for the people I slept with. And it's streaming on Netflix now. You can watch it. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, but no, next year is actually the 10-year anniversary of Be uh, Better Luck Tomorrow. I hope something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's been, I, I don't know, like after people I slept with, you know, we just got done with the whole year of film festival, so it's been kind of, right now, just taking some time off and um, just recently had some health stuff, so I just had surgery. Just kind of taking time for myself. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Everyone needs that sometime. All right, well, I will let you go ahead and get into dinner, but it was, thank you so much.